Nottingham has become the latest count. I would say it is almost impossible to watch that without thinking of Anchorman. You remember, there's yeah. Panda watching Anchorman. <laughs> and I'm watching Juliet going, don't fall in, don't fall in, <laughs> like they did in the San Diego Zoo. It's uh, always one of those things where you see TV reporters talking on... <laughs> I know you're going to be talking about mince pies, aren't you? Big yes, we I'm are. outraged, by the way, that anybody should... You and I in are your gone. house. Very low rent taste at our house, for sure. But 74... Uh, outrages, don't they? And then by the end of the day, presumably, they're not... Yeah. Ivy, you could... Should we give our addresses out? I mean, I'm happy to say. <laughs> yeah, there's a new survey out as well about Christmas dinner, which right. I oh, yeah. to just tell you about. So, of course, you're planning your Christmas shopping, decorating your homes, but apparently not everybody is looking forward to the traditional Christmas dinner because apparently in a survey, half of our nation would prefer to order a takeaway on Christmas Day. In fact, one in five say they would opt for Chinese, closely followed by Indian, you're welcome, uh, or fish and chips. Actually, we always have Indian food on Christmas Day when, you? when my mum's cooking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are I mean, they right? thinking? <laughs> what are they? Are, are people anymore? Yeah, what's Men's going on? down the drain. What are you what's going on? Do get in touch. Good morning to you. Uh, world leaders are getting invited to kick off the United Nations Climate Change Conference COP28. King Charles will give the opening address tomorrow, his first major climate speech since becoming monarch. Meanwhile, hosts are facing criticism with allegations that the United Arab Emirates actually plan to use its role as an opportunity to drop oil and gas deals. Well, our chief correspondent next this morning, Matt Hancock, is expected to contest accusations made about his time as health secretary when he faces the COVID inquiry later. The former minister has been criticised for decisions he made during the pandemic from key witnesses who have already given evidence to the inquiry. Let's hear more. Now, an amber cold health alert has been issued for Northern England by the UK Health Security Agency. The warning will be in place until midday on the 5th of December. People who are considered vulnerable are encouraged to take steps to protect themselves against the cold weather. Let's speak to Nithya. Now, they caused pandemonium when they arrived at Edinburgh Zoo 12 years ago. But now the UK's only giant pandas are heading back home to China. Let's go. Good morning to you. Now, listen, we all remember, don't we, uh, last year, Liz Truss, who was then Prime Minister, banned the king from speaking at COP, saying it wasn't the right time. But this must be quite a significant moment, not just for him, but also our voice, the UK voice at, at COP this year, Richard at Mr Hancock already during this inquiry. Yeah, he's now part of a new system, aren't they? Juliet, why are they going back? 